J and today I'm here with my most anticipated releases for March 2019. A lot of these have already been released since I am filming this so late in the month but like always I try to pick a couple of books that are not on everybody's radar that are not the super popular books because nobody wants to hear the same five books over and over again. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is called Before She Knew Him by Peter Swanson and this is supposed to be released on March 5th, 2019. This follows Henrietta and her husband who have just moved into a new neighborhood after Henrietta found the proper mix of medications to treat her bipolar disorder. When they meet the next door neighbors, Hen notices that the trophies that are in the office of the husband are ones that are very similar to ones that reported missing during a murder investigation a couple of years ago. Hen is unsure whether the husband is a murderer or if she's just having another psychotic breakdown which she experienced in college which resulted in her hurting another student. As she continues to watch the neighbor she realizes that he is actually very aware that he is being watched and she is in danger now and it's basically the story of that. But I'm super intrigued because I want to know if, you know, it is a psychotic breakdown or if this neighbor is actually a murderer, I'm very invested in figuring it out. I'm gonna say that I'm hoping that he's a murderer because we love stabby stabby murder murder books, so here's hoping that we have some stabby stabby murder murder. The next book that I have is called My Lovely Wife and this is by Samantha Downing and it's supposed to be released on March 26, 2019. I'm just gonna read the synopsis that was on Goodreads because I mean, that's what got me hooked on it. It says, our love story is simple. I met a gorgeous woman. We fell in love. We had kids. We moved into the suburbs. We told each other our biggest dreams and our darkest secrets. And then we got bored. We look like a normal couple. We're your neighbors, the parents of your kids' friends, the acquaintances you keep meeting to get dinner with. We all have secrets to keep a marriage alive. Ours just happens to be getting away with murder. Like, I'm sorry, does that not sound good to you? Maybe it's just me, but again, murder, murder, stabby, stabby, here for it. The next one I have is called The Perfect Child, and this is by Lucinda Berry, and this was released March 1st, 2019. This follows Hannah and Christopher, who have the perfect marriage. They're just missing one important thing, a child. They both work at the local hospital, and that's when a child named Janie is abandoned there and Christopher convinces Hannah to take that child in. Janie is purely devoted to Christopher. She will do anything for him, but she repeatedly acts out in very disturbing ways towards Hannah. Christopher refuses to see the way Janie actually is. He continues to see her as the perfect child, but as time goes on and Janie continues to manipulate Christopher, the truth about her past may tear Hannah and Christopher apart, and it's basically the story of that. I was initially intrigued by this because I think the cover is just a really cool cover, and then I read the synopsis and I was like, this could be good, I'm hoping, you know psychotic child. Love that for us on this channel, so very excited to get to that one. The next one that I have is called I'll Be Watching You, and this is by Courtney Evan Tate, and this is supposed to be released on March 26, 2019. This follows a 16-year-old named Leah who decides to go on a midnight paddle near her parents' lake house one day, but then her body disappears and the police presume she is dead because sharks were seen in that area earlier that day. Days later, Emily, her mother, is looking through her daughter's laptop and she finds some pornographic images of Leah. Emily decides that she's going to find out who took these images and will stop at nothing until she does. And it's basically the story of that and how she kind of views everybody in the town differently after that. I don't know, I kind of hope that she catches this pervert because we don't like child pornography on this channel. We do not like it. So I'm, I'm interested to see like what's going on. And then the final book that I have on this list is called You Owe Me a Murder and it's by Elaine Cook and this is to be released March 5th, 2016. And the synopsis sounds very similar to White Bodies, which I just recently read. I'm pretty intrigued to see if it's similar or not. It follows a 17 year old named Kim who was just dumped by her boyfriend and she's very upset about this because he moved on to another girl very quickly. She's on a plane one day and she's joking about how she wishes he was dead and that she could murder him and a stranger who's sitting beside her named Nikki says that, you know, 
we should do it, let's kill some people, but she thinks it's all a joke, but then her ex-boyfriend ends up dead, and now Nikki is blackmailing her, saying that it's her turn to commit a murder for Nikki, and it's like that story, so I'm interested because, again, murder, murder, stabby, stabby, we're here for it on this channel, so very excited about that one as well. All right, guys, so that was my five most anticipated releases for this month. Hopefully, you guys heard about something that sounds at least a little bit interesting to you. If not, I'm sorry. Go watch the popular booktubers who talk about the same five books, and hopefully you like those ones, but... We like obscure books on this channel, so let me know down below if you plan on reading any of these or if you already have what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!